Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly your weekly spread for eight for to the for September eighth through the fourteenth, guys. Twenty nineteen, September eighth through the fourteenth. Let's see what's going on for you. Uh Let's see how you're coming into the week. All right. And what's in your environment? It's the energy of your environment. Who or what is helping you? And how you end the week? What's the outcome? For the week, for the Virgo. Okay, let's see. How Virgo comes into the week is the Eight of Swords or the Eight of Air. Lots of thinking, lots of cyclical thinking. Can't see a way out. Okay, yeah, but then that'll happen. But okay, but yeah, so that, but if I do that, then this is. That the circle, the, the cyclical thinking, you've got to come out of that. Um, maybe reduce it to some six of sword, make peace with maybe even a seven of sword. Just completely um, rest in the fact that maybe you might have to lose something, um, loss, loss of, um, or planning, a, a revision of plans also. Uh, right now you're you're uh, doing a mental exercise and a mental gymnastics in regards to a situation maybe with an air sign this is Gemini what's in your environment is the seven of earth so you may be ev evaluating some particular relationship business contract marriage or all three at some point and you're evaluated and reevaluated say you know maybe we should be past this maybe we should be further along maybe the the contract or the marriage or whatever it should be here and not here what is going wrong this is also someone pruning you know evaluating by pruning you know okay it's not working anymore so what do I need to cut away cut out because I'm trying to get to the Ten of Pentacles. I'm trying to fulfill some real lifelong uh, goals, journey. I'm also concerned about my reputation thus far. I'm not sure that I can get far with this mental, how I feel about maybe this partnership, marriage, contract how we deal with each other the you know our interpersonal uh communication we should be further along this is what a virgo is saying about a particular person place or thing um this is what's helping virgo all right well, who's helping virgo ace of water so wanted to have a new beginning uh, how you're coming off to the world is being inspired, being fresh-eyed, vibrant, uh, full of inspiration, full of love, full of joy, full of positivity, full of light. You could be feeling that way too. You could be changing something about um, how you look or how you look to others. Um, your personal appearance and first impressions. How you end the week is the strength card. This is about some Virgo thinking about do I end, do I stay in, do I let go? But this is also a Virgo who's saying, I'm going to stay true to my convictions about how I feel about certain or said marriage contract agreement relationship because I know that if I stand true to what it is I believe I'm going to get to the place I feel like I need to be in and this could be in regards to 
dating dating someone this could be in regards to like how you were brought up like i'm not going to keep putting my energy effort time into a situation that's not going to yield me exactly what i want you may be giving someone second third chance here but also contemplating an ending you know what i'm gonna use these where are they where are they oh i can use these Definitely pop right out. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who's very honest. Someone who is clear. This could be you too, Virgo. Because sometimes the Queen of Swords comes up as Virgo. Virgo woman most times. Um, you could be wanting clarity about a situation with an air sign. What are we doing? Where's this going? I don't have time to waste. Let me know so I can make significant change. We should be further along. Seven of Earth. Or someone's doing this with you, Virgo. Someone's saying this to you. Seven of Earth. Oh, two cards came out. So someone wanted to take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith in a new direction and do it in haste do it out of passion out of you know discontentment here out of feeling like you need a change in regards to a particular person some of you contemplating going outside the relationship or having another relationship because the one you're in is not yielding you exactly what you want ace of water or someone's thinking this way about you who is this new love or what it, how is this helping virgo yeah because virgo this this might be like some there's a virgo who like on some type of boss level entrepreneur um really well established they are thinking about their own health wealth and well-being they're thinking about what drives them they might be going after and pursuing something creative and or um, something they have a lot of passion for. This is like entrepreneurship or doing something outside of, you know, being affiliated with a big entity. Yeah. But to a source, Libra coming up, there's opposition in regards to how this Virgo thinks about um, maybe establishing or reestablishing something yeah with someone who maybe it is or used to be a successful connection with but then there's opposition here what is the strength card somebody's thinking about sex Not a spade. Someone's definitely thinking about ending something because of the seven of pentacles. We should be further along. Maybe with an immature but well meaning air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's distance here. Someone changed. Because they went after what it is they really want. What they had prayed and hoped for. And now their separation. With. Maybe the king of hearts. That's typically a Libra man for me. Um. 
Would you guys talk about the drama? Yeah, somebody's doing an air sign, definitely. It can't, you guys can come back from it and resurface. Re, re, regain the connection. If you talk about what's going on between the two of you, you talk about what it is you can offer, what it is you want, you guys can come back together. We've got Libra, we've got Aquarius, We've got Gemini. We've got all the air signs. Wow. I mean, and everyone else too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anybody. Okay, we're not going to take all of those. Let's leave Virgo with the message. The best course of action. Virgo, it just looks like a week of contemplation of an ending. You can reduce the energy of wanting to run away or just be done with a situation by way of communicating, talking. Communicate exactly how you feel. Queen of Swords. Do not hold back. No need to worry. If you communicate, right? Abundance. Nice. Someone really loves you, really likes you, or vice versa. You know, or it's mutual. Let go and ask your angels. Yeah, I think thinking about it too much with the Eight of Swords. Get more information. All right, there are helpful people here, okay? All right, Virgo, I hope that this reading resonated with you, for you, gave you a bit of clarity for the week. Thank you for tuning in. Take care, and remember to stay in prayer. All links below to get to the website to book your own reading. All links are below to book your own reading at the website. Take care, guys. Bye.